What's happening, my film nerds? Welcome to Weekend Warrior Wednesday. That is correct. If you're new to Weekend Warrior Wednesday, basically what this segment is all about is I talk about the movies that are coming out this weekend, and I give you the Rotten Tomato ratings. So then I can hopefully help you out and, see, you know, let you know what to see, you know, on the weekend and what to avoid, which there are some to avoid, obviously, all the time. So, uh, hey, let's talk about what's coming out this weekend. All right, first on the list, The Other Woman. Okay, I absolutely hate it when I see this TV spot every time. I really do. The only, the only way I would see this movie is because of Leslie Mann. Leslie Mann is awesome. She's funny. She's been in a lot of movies that I love, and that would be the only reason to see it. Other than that, you got Miss Annoying Laugh and Miss No Brain Big Boobs going on here. And it's funny, too, because these annoying TV spots, <laughs> one critic claims it's the funniest movie since Bridesmaids. Are you fucking serious? There's been a slew of movies, funny movies since Bridesmaids. Oh, I get it. You got to compare a chick comedy movie to another chick comedy movie. That's so ridiculously stupid. I fucking hate those commercials like that. Oh, yeah, and, you know, Kate Kate Upton, you know, this is going to be a challenge for her. I don't know if she could play a woman with really big boobs who is brain dead. I don't think she could do that. that I mean, I'm really curious how she's going to pull that one off, gang. How is she going to do that? I don't know. She might win an Academy Award for doing, for striving such a role for, like that. Jesus Christ. If you notice on the, uh, as you could tell, I really fucking don't, I hate the fact that this movie's coming out. But it's just... It's just Hollywood for you. It's like, okay, let's put a veteran actress, a funny veteran actress, and then let's put a girl, a young girl with big boobs who doesn't know how to fucking act. Let's do that. That's a good fucking trio right there. No, it's not. If you notice in the, the TV spots too, you never see Kate Upton talk because she's not there to talk. She's there to just jiggle. Anyways, uh, sorry. Little rant right there, guys. It's just that, you know, so certain things just happen. But it's it's at a 38%. Naturally, of course, it's at a 38%. We got how many uh, reviews? We got 24 reviews, 15 rotten, 9 fresh. So, hey, this movie is going to blow ass probably. It's PG-13, and they're comparing it to Bridesmaids. Go fuck yourself, Holly. Oh, God, I hate that. Anyways, let's move on. All right, next on the list is Brick Mansions, and this is starring the late Paul Walker. Now, I think this will probably be the box office winner just because of Paul Walker. I mean, I hate to say it that that's a reason why people are going to see it, but I'm actually going to uh, I'm going to go see this tomorrow night too and do a review. This is going to be my review of the week. It's also starring David Bella, uh, who's actually a big parkour guy, which works because if you watch the trailer for this movie. It looks pretty rocket. It looks like the action is trying to summon some of the raid. He, I don't know if you guys saw the raid. You know, you guys should really, if you're a fan of action, watch the raid. That's probably the best action movie that is out there. I mean, my God. But it just looks like they got a parkour guy. So it's like, cool. You have one of the stars who can just be a badass. And then, of course, it has Riza, who's the, the, the uh, villain guy, which is okay that's cool but whatever but yeah um there's no rating for this yet which is also never a good sign but it actually does have three reviews two fresh one rotten so that's not too bad you know it's like a 66 percent right there but yeah I'm, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to it that the action is what i'm looking forward to not so much i'm, I'm sure it's going to be because it's just a revenge story and then he's trying to get the i mean it's a normal it's a cliche story but hopefully they really push the action by having this parkour guy in it so i think Think this is going to be probably beat out the others well maybe and then we have the quiet ones yeah this is a horror flick which looks kind of promising i mean when i was watching the trailers supposedly it's based kind of on a true story of something that happened i think it's back in like the 60s or 70s that this takes place but uh it's uh currently rotten at a 50 percent you know so 12 fresh 12 rotten um not exactly an oculus not exactly a conjuring i was kind of thinking maybe it would be i mean the tv spots do look pretty intense but you know what can you do it is uh it is rotten so yeah those are pretty much the three popular movies that are coming out but there's a movie i really want to see 
starring Mr. Tom Hardy, and it's at a 91%, so it's certified fucking fresh here, gang. I mean, that's 49 fresh reviews, five, five uh, rotten reviews, and this is called Lock. And basically, what happens in this movie, it takes place... All, it takes place with Tom Hardy in the car the whole time. And it's it looks so... I mean, I love movies like that that take place in one spot. And it's a totally... Your time-lapse movie. You're just seeing the exact time. I don't know. I think that's what they're going for here. You know, like Phone Booth, Buried. I don't know if you saw those movies. Which I, I just kind of dig those. And I do really want to see this movie. Um, I know it's going to have limited release. It's not going to be everywhere. But this is a movie I'm actually looking forward to seeing. And I wish it was, if it, if it fits at the theater that I go to, I might actually see this instead. So anyways, my box office prediction, obviously Captain America, it's won three times in the box office. So I'm kind of wondering, will any of these movies actually take over it? I think, huh, it's, it's, a, it's a tough one. It's a tough one because you, you got the other woman, which I think a lot of girly girls will go see just for stupid girly stuff <laughs> i'm not trying to be like sexist or anything but uh, i mean uh, eh, eh, the movie i guess kind of has potential i mean leslie mann's the only one that's gonna save that one brick mansions i think is going to be the winner just because paul walker i mean that's just that's just my opinion quiet ones hopefully will be like number two and then the other woman will just whatever but um i'm thinking brick mansions might take the gold but hey we might see captain america take it for our fourth time it's gonna be a close one i think this weekend but i think brick mansions might take the box office gold this weekend let me know what you plan on seeing this weekend and what you're looking forward to down below in the balls area and please hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And visit FilmJunkie.com for your latest in movie news, trailers, and film reviews. And that's pretty much it, guys. I am David, the Film Junkie, and this has been Weekend Warrior Wednesday. <sighs> Man, it's going to be sad kind of seeing Paul Walker on screen, you know. Man, it's not his last flick, obviously, Fast and Furious, but yeah, it's going to be interesting to see him again. It's like, oh, a little tear going to roll down my cheek. Anyways, guys, I'll talk to you later. Thank you.